Peace, peace, black family. Remember when I told you? Because as a youngster in school, I always thought it was fucking stupid. When 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 black Americans were coming at the Haitians, right? I'm in elementary school. And, Yo, you eat cat. You did that. You did that. I'm like, okay, why? Like, okay, where is this coming from? It's a two-part answer to that, right? So one would be the image that white supremacy fed to black Americans about Haitians. You get what I'm saying? On the news about how we came with AIDS and, yeah, you know, we ate cat yes. and things like that. But then also, what? again, dealing with white supremacy, the ignorance that some of our elders had in the community with the idea of spreading the voodoo. Oh, voodoo, voodoo in our country, voodoo. Like, a lot of that came from our mouths. Still to this day, to you, this hear, day. you hear yeah. Haitians say that, right? And so, if you were hearing somebody come from a country and tell you, oh, we do voodoo over there, you would die. And like, of course, as a black American, you're like, I grew up in a Episcopal Polico church. Yeah, like, yeah, we don't yeah. know voodoo about that shit. A, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the yeah. thing. That's yeah. the people evil. Yeah. Right. They, eat cat, they give them their powers. <laughs> now, check out this recent interview that Kodak Black did on The Drink Champs. This is my Haitian friend that never been to Haiti. <laughs> I went to Haiti before him. Uh, hey man, uh, listen man, they eat people over there. Nah, <laughs> 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 gotta be careful, man. You, you, you know? never been to Haiti either. Nah, you plan on ever going? When I die, I hope my soul go there. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. That was him. Wasn't you said when he's dying. I know. Yeah. I heard he said. Oh. Just the stuff my parents told me. You know, they said you see the water take us. I said, why? This is literally in Creole. They might eat you, just like that. Literally. That's what they have. <laughs> now, this is not a personal attack on Kodak Black. My sympathies go out to him. I recognize that he's going through something and he may not have the right people around him. But this is me simply holding a mirror up to the Haitian community. Because sadly, a lot of us still think that if you go to Haiti, you'll be kidnapped by mermaids. And we spread that type of nonsense throughout the black diaspora. And if those type of stories scared you as a Haitian child, what type of effect you think that's going to have on black Americans who don't know what the hell you talking about? Again, if images like this scare us who come from the culture, how do you think other Africans in the diaspora who are not familiar with voodoo are going to react to it? But if the people who come from the culture are talking about it like this, then how do you expect other black people who don't know about the culture to not be scared? In conclusion, I embrace and celebrate my Haitian culture because it is a shining example of my African roots. I love and embrace voodoo, but I also understand the metaphysics, spiritual and psychological aspects of voodoo. Side note, for those who need more clarity, I am not saying that we should not talk about voodoo publicly, but I think these conversations need to come from someone who understands voodoo.